Life is a jungle. You need savage business and finance to lead you out of the jungle today. Today, we're going to talk about how to start your business with organic money. For the record, I have never started a business with a credit card. I have never started a business with a loan. And I'm going to explain to you why. Now, if you're watching YouTube or you're watching any of the social media, there are a number of people out there who would have you think it's virtually impossible to start a business with your own money. And I'm here to tell you that is not the case. I'm here to tell you that you can start a multi-million dollar business with your own money. Now, let's talk about the mindset, other people's money, OPM. And I have seen some of the most craziest, ludicrous things ever. You should borrow money to invest in cryptocurrency. You should borrow money to start your business. Let me explain to you why I feel that's a very bad idea. I have started many businesses that failed. And let's go ahead and talk about one of those businesses. When I was in the military, I had this ideal picture with your pooch. And this was back in the day of having a landline. This was in the back of the day when newspapers were pretty thick. So what I did was that station that Fort McPherson. I had a phone put in my room and I paid like 300 bucks for a classified ad. And I went ahead and got a credit card for Wolf Camera, bought a new camera. And I was literally 22, 23, um, 100 bucks in the hole. And this is when, that was more than I made per month as an E4 in the military. And I dug myself in a hole, cause that business didn't work. The phone never rung, no one ever called. And this is the number one reason that you don't wanna start a business with a loan. You don't want to start a business with a credit card. And once again, I understand that the overwhelming sentiment on the internet is virtually, I've literally heard content creators said, you cannot stay in business without credit. Let me tell you a story. One, for the longest of times, I never really focused on credit. You wanna know why? All my businesses cash flowed. I never really paid attention to credit. I've been buying cars for cash. And you would have people will tell you, you shouldn't buy a car for cash. You should use credit and build your, your credit. Let me go ahead and explain something to you. Once you have three to five credit cards and your credit history is three to five years old, your credit's built. Essentially, you could get a hundred credit cards and your credit score is only gonna be what it's gonna be. You do not get additional points for having more credit cards or additional loans. Your credit score is only gonna be, I have maybe 50 personal credit scores, I mean credit cards, and my credit score is like 825 right now. And I got 50 credit cards. There are people with higher credit scores and way less credit cards than I have. So one of the things is you're being hit over the head by, I'm gonna say it, opportunist. There's one, two, three, there are four guys who are consistently running how to get credit cards, how to get business funding ads on YouTube. And here's something that many of them will not tell you. How did I manage to start and run businesses without using credit? My businesses were successful. See, here's the secret. If you're running a successful business that cash flows, you can get by without credit. Now, let's go ahead and talk about why I have seen there's been a change in our messaging. Credit can help you scale your business, but I will caution you against starting that business with credit. When I was testing out the car rental business, I spent $400,000 cash for 30 cars. Thank God. You know, I shut that business down in 2021. I still have six cars. So if I had, now here's the thing. If I went ahead and we got those 30 cars using credit, I would be in so much trouble right now. Number one, in the rental car business, here's some for those of you who are thinking about the rental car business. If you have a car on the rental platform, it will get damaged. It will be depreciated. So I took a $150,000 hit because the car's depreciated 
depreciated. I had cars that were completely totaled, wrecked. And if I had used credit, let's see, we understand an automobile loan. An automobile loan captures the face value price of that car plus additional charges for interest over the life of the loan. So let's say I went out, got 30 cars, probably would have cost me five, six hundred thousand dollars and I would be in a deeper hole than I'm currently in. Because here's the thing, since I use cash to buy those cars, when the, I was able to shut the business down and not have to worry about making car payments, because if I had used, if I had financed those cars and looking at what's going on, literally it took me a year to sell 20, 25 cars a year and i didn't get full value for those cars so if i had used credit let's say i was a person who was not financially sophisticated and i went ahead drunk the kool-aid and bought a bunch of these rental cars on credit i would be in bankruptcy court right now because this is what happened the car market collapsed so right now car dealerships are going out of business because they bought these cars and they have too much money in these cars and they cannot sell them for what they pay for them and that's my situation so out of that four hundred thousand dollars i took a hundred and fifty thousand dollar haircut but because i use cash I use my own money. I literally have six cars just sitting at my office right now. And I took the insurance off because I'm not driving them and I'm just selling them. And what I'm waiting on is tax season to try to offload most of these cars to a dealer. So if I had used credit to buy these cars, I would be in a really, really bad situation at the moment. I would be in a very, very bad situation. So what are my advice on this you should start your business with organic funding this is a term that you are not going to see because everyone's like you must use other people's money you must use cash you must get business funding i started all the, and this is something else too a lot of these guys i think are pretty much blowing smoke up your butt i started all my businesses with credit once again i have 24 years of entrepreneur experience and i can see between the smoke if something's burning and basically listening to these guys i don't think they have multiple businesses because here's the thing it is very very hard to run one business let alone multiple businesses that are heavily heavily leveraged so what is my advice to you start a business and let me explain to you how i got to the point where i was able to start my businesses with my own money. Going back many, many, many years ago, GC Solutions made $250,000 in one year cash money. And I had a job that paid me six figures. So that year I did probably about 500, close to $550,000 between my job and that business. And that business, essentially, that money has become the seed money for virtually everything that I have done since. So when I, I started GC Solutions, which was selling used office furniture, then I moved to selling new office furniture, which was, in my estimation, a failure. Many of my business friends said, hey, you made a profit your first year. You did really well. A lot of them told me they were in hold, they were in the hole their first year. I didn't like that. I love the speed and the cash flow of selling used stuff which led me to the storage auction business. So I went into the storage auction business with almost $400,000. So I was able to buy storage auctions, rent a warehouse, rent storefronts. Then after I shut that down, came to YouTube, I had $300,000 in the bank when I started my first YouTube channel. So I, I didn't have to work a job. But once again, there, there are people out there because I'm gonna tell you why these folks are telling you that you cannot start a business without credit. They haven't been able to do it if they've been able to do it they would be telling you exactly what i am telling you now this is the procedure this is the standard operating procedure you should get your business up running and cash flowing off of your own money now once your business is up because this was my plan i spent four hundred thousand dollars because i found it particularly hard to get true and actionable data about the car rental business. So I, I bought my own data. I bought my own data. And my goal was to spend that money to get the car rental business up. And if my financial projections had hit, they weren't even close. My financial projections were so wrong. But my plan was to start the business, 
with cash. And then once I had built a cash flowing base, I was gonna go to the bank, get money to get more cars. And once I realized that the car rental business was an absolute dumpster fire, I didn't do that. So I just shut it down and I started liquidating my fleet. And because I use cash, my own cash, I didn't have to work, you know, uh, essentially I was making pretty good money in spite of the losses I took in the car rental business. Because here's the thing, you should work very, very hard to establish a highly cash flowing business with minimum operational cost. And this is one of the reasons I've been able to literally buy brand new Porsches cash money, buy BMWs cash money. I didn't buy this watch cash money. I used my American Express Platinum, but I had the cash in the bank to pay for it. And let me explain the strategy. Using cash, you can dramatically enhance your credit. Let me explain why. This is where all of the credit card companies are starting to go to. You're not going to get a cash limit increase unless you show that you've been using the cards. It's different bank by bank. But Capital One, you will not get a cash, you will not get a credit limit increase unless you're using the card. American Express, you have to use the cards. So by using the cards quite a bit, I am going to have very high limits with American Express. I'm going to hit a 100K credit card with American Express. And that is purely just a vanity metric. And there are some business things that I want to do where I will actually need that type of credit limit. But once again, you should start your business with your cash, get it cash flowing and get it stable. And then, then get into the business credit world. There's a lot of strategies. There's a lot of techniques that I, I will be teaching, but organic funding, a company I work for, Renecrate, the founders started this multi-million dollar company with their own money. And I'm gonna tell you something, when you use your own money, you spend differently. You remember where you were a kid and your parents gave you an allowance and you notice how judicious you were when you had to spend your money. If you were spending mom and dad's money, hey, whatever, but you had to spend your money, you were like, mm, let me think about that. So once again, I'm here to tell you, that you should never ever start a business with a loan or a credit card unless, let's say you were a graphic designer, 20 years experience in the graphic design business, you were well regarded in the, in the industry and you had a lot of people who wanted you to work for them. Now at that point, using credit or a business loan to get the office space, the furniture, the staff, that makes sense because here's the thing, you already have the core skill. But if you were going to try to start a graphic design business, but you weren't a graphic designer and you were gonna to have to hire people, you were gonna to have to learn, that, that's just bankruptcy. That's a recipe for bankruptcy. It's just a recipe for bankruptcy. So there are some use cases where it makes sense if you have a lot of industry experience in that business where you know that you can get up to running quite quickly, you can get to a cash flowing position quite quickly, that makes sense. But if you're gonna get into a business like Toro, Airbnb, Amazon FBA, and you want to use debt to get into this business, it's probably not gonna go too well for you. It's probably not gonna go too well for you because here's another thing. When you have a lot of debt, and real estate is a great example, you will have many people come to YouTube talking about I'm a millionaire based upon the equity in my real estate. And technically, if you have over a million dollars in assets, you are a millionaire. But what's their utility? A lot of these people who are real estate millionaires cannot afford to pay cash for a Honda. They are house rich, but cash poor. Years ago, when I was a salesman, I paid $58,000 for a brand new BMW and I wasn't a millionaire. I was just a highly paid employee. So once again, be very careful using other people's money to start businesses. And here's something else. It's an absolute lie that rich people use loans for business. This is the game that they play. You start, you're a rich person, you understand the game. You start a company, you do not start an LLC. You start a C corporation. You start a C corporation and every time someone gives you money, it's not a loan, it's not credit. They're buying equity in your C corporation. So the first round, 
you know, you own 100% of the company in the beginning stages. And as you acquire more funding, your equity gets diluted. You go from owning 100% of the company to owning at base case scenario, 10%. Uh, I think Elon Musk owns 10%. I'm not sure, don't, don't, don't slay me in the comments, but this is the game that they play. They sell equity in starting businesses and these are not loans nor credit. That's the play. And this is how the early investors cash out. When Uber was starting and there was a guy who invested $5,000 in Uber, and 10 years later, when Uber went public, he made 24 million. And this is why people give these companies all of this money, because if things turn out really well, this is a way that you can leverage a little bit of money into a huge payday if the company is successful. But that's the game. That's how rich people and corporate raiders and the that's that's how they get the money. It's not a loan. It's not credit. They're buying equity. Big difference. Because if the company fails, these investors understand that they lose all their money. There's no, hey man, where's my money? No, it's like you sign a, an agreement. It's like, hey, I'm going to invest X amount of dollars in this company. And if the company does well, I make money. If the company goes out of business, I lose money. You know that from jump. That's the game that they play. They're not, they're not playing this you know, it, it's, it's laughable, the stuff I see here on YouTube. But as someone who has started a million dollar business, multi-million dollar business with his own money, let me, let me go ahead and say this. You can do it too. Yeah, you can do it too. Start your business, work really, really hard to make sure it cash flows because that's the magic trick. If your business is cash flowing, this is how you can do this. Now, there are many businesses out there that do rely on debt and they rely on loans. And these companies are barely making any money. And it's just a matter of time before they go out of business. You can start a business using your own cash. And as the business makes money, then the business money that was made goes back into growing the company. That's how you play the game. And once again, as a founder of businesses, I have never ever started a company using credit. No credit card arbitrage, no credit cards, none of this stuff. But once again, this is why I'm telling you this information because my life is a proven thesis of the things I say on this YouTube channel. Now, let me tell you what I'm getting ready to do. I reset the channel and I reset my training. There's a lot of people who need beginner business advice. That is Hustle Camp. If you're a beginning person, you don't have a lot of cash, Hustle Camp will be the tool to get you up and running. Now, let's say you're a little bit more seasoned, you have a little more cash, maybe you have a business, then you wanna get getting rich in business.com. That's where you go for that training. And then my third website, Savage Business and Finance, is where I'm gonna have my high level tactical strategies for you to win in business. So I have stuff for the beginners, I have stuff for the intermediates, and I have stuff for people who want advanced tactics. And all of those are gonna be in the first comments with a written description of what each one does and how I can serve you. Now, let's say you buy Hustle Camp and you wanna to move to the um, corporate toolbox. I will deduct whatever you paid for Hustle Camp from the corporate toolbox and I will send you a discount code where you can go ahead and get the corporate toolbox and not have to pay an additional money. And I'll do the same thing for Savage Business and Finance. All of this links are below. We're getting ready to start doing a lot of stuff. So you wanna stay tuned in and you want to go ahead and enroll and get this process going. This is Glendon Cameron. I'm here to tell you, you can start a business without credit. It's quite possible. I am living proof.